Welcome learners to the last lesson in evolution. We are going to discuss natural selection in action and the case study is a papered moth. The papered moth whose scientific name is Biston betularia exists in two different forms. A speckled white or uh, spotted form and the other one is dark melanic form. So this is the speckled white form and the other one is dark melanic form. The moths normally rest on tree trunks and branches where they are protected against predators. Before industrial revolution, the white speckled form was camouflaged against tree trunks with similar pattern and coloration. This is before industrial revolution. Around 1848, in Britain, during industrialization, the environment was datified by soot from factories. Due to these changes, the dark form blended well against the backs of trees, which had been darkened by soot and smoke. After industrialization, this is how the tree trunks looked like. So the white form was exposed to predators while the dark one was camouflaged. This has re resulted in the preservation of the mutation in Biston betularia, leading to evolution of the melanic form. This form is almost invisible against the dark background of tree trunks and is less subject to predation from birds than the speckled form. So the duck is blended and protected from predation from birds. The white form is exposed. You can see here the, the black form is camouflaged. The occurrence of the melanic form could have been due to predation. The speckled form is more abundant in areas away from soot and smoke of factories. This is because it is well protected by the lichen covered tree trunks against which it rests and is therefore not easily detected by predators. So this is a tree trunk which is covered by lichens. So the, the speckled form is protected against predation. The existence of two or more distinct forms within a species as shown by Biston betularia is called polymorphism. And poly is derived from two words. Poly means many or several. Morphism is form, so several forms. Another example of natural selection in action is sickle cell trait. This mutant gene is highly frequent in places where malaria incidence is high. This is referred to as heterozygous advantage. Such individuals have high immunity to malaria. This um, type of hemoglobin A has the normal shape for uh, red blood cells which is biconcave in shape. Thus, the biconcave shaped red blood cells are efficient in oxygen loading and transportation. This other one is defective and the red blood cells are sickle shaped in other words, they are C-shaped or crescent-shaped. Therefore, they are not efficient in, trans, uh, in transportation of, of oxygen. So, this heterozygous advantage uh, enables those people uh, living in places where malaria incidence is high to survive.
we will wind up with resistance to drugs. And we can discuss that certain strains or types of organisms have developed resistance to drugs and antibiotics. They cannot be eliminated by drugs or antibiotics. Following continuous, continuous use of such drugs and antibiotics, some of these individuals in a population of bacteria or other microorganisms survive and are able to pass their characteristics to the next generation. When a patient fails to take a full dosage of the antibiotics prescribed by the doctor, the pathogens develop resistance to the drugs, hence become difficult to control. And some mosquitoes have developed resistance to certain pesticides because they possess a gene which made them synthesize an enzyme against DDT, an insecticide used to control mosquitoes, making it ineffective in control of such um, insects. So an enzyme, so enzyme is produced against this DDT. So enzyme is actually a biological chemical which helps to speed or reduce the rate of enzymatic activity. So the, these enzymes help the insects become resistant against DDT. The control of plasmodium parasite or actually the causative agent for malaria has been made difficult due to its ability to rapidly or quickly change its surface antigens, making it resistant against insecticide manufactured to kill them. If mutation occur in a population of bacteria, the mutant bacteria produce an enzyme that breaks down penicillin or, uh, this, or an antibiotic. Some strains of mycobacterium tuberculosis that cause TB have developed resistance against TB antibiotics, making it difficult to cure and control TB. In summary, human beings have attempted to eradicate various species of disease causing microorganisms or even pests and have resulted in evolution probably brought about by natural selection of pathogens and pests resistant to whichever agent is employed to control them. That marks the end of evolution. Attempt this assignment. All the answers are found in the discussions that we have been discussing. See you in our next topic. Goodbye.